No NATO, no war. No NATO, no war. We don't work for you no more. We don't work for you no more. N A T O. N A T O. We don't kill for you no more. We don't kill for you no more. They chose to return their medals to NATO. I urge you to honor them by listening to their stories. My name is Iris Feliciano. I served in the Marine Corps, and in January of 2002, I deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. And I want to tell the folks behind us in these uh, enclosed walls where they build more policies based on lies and fear that we no longer stand for them. We no longer stand for their lies, their failed policies, and these unjust wars. Bring our troops home and end the war now. They can have these men. My name is Greg Miller. I'm a veteran of the United States Army Infantry with service in Iraq 2009. The military hands out cheap tokens like this to soldiers, service members, in an attempt to fill the void where their conscience used to be once they indoctrinated out of you. But that didn't work on me, so I'm here to return my Global War on Terrorism Medal and my National Defense Medal because they're both lives. <laughs> First and foremost, this is for the people of Iraq and Afghanistan. Second of all, this is for our real forefathers. I'm talking about the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. I'm talking about the Black Panthers. I'm talking about the Civil Rights Movement. I'm talking about unions. I'm talking about our socialist brothers and sisters, our communist brothers and sisters, our anarchist brothers and sisters, and our ecology brothers and sisters. That's who our real forefathers are. And lastly, and lastly, and most importantly, our enemies are not 7,000 miles from home. They sit in boardrooms. They are CEOs. They are bankers. They are hedge fund managers. They do not live 7,000 miles from home. Our enemies are right here, and we look at them every day. They are not the men and women who are standing on this police line. They are the millionaires and billionaires who control this planet, and we've had enough of it. So they can take their medals back. My name is Jason Hurd. I spent 10 years in the United States Army as a combat medic. I deployed to Baghdad in 2004. I'm here to return my Global War on Terrorism Service Medal in solidarity with the people of Iraq and the people of Afghanistan. I am deeply sorry for the destruction that we have caused in those countries and around the globe. I am proud to stand on this stage with my fellow veterans and my Afghan sisters. These were lies. Give it a back. My name is Scott Kimball. I'm an Iraq War vet. And I'm turning in these medals today for the people of Afghanistan, Iraq, Palestine, and all victims of occupation across the world. And also, for all the service members and veterans who are against these wars, you are not alone! My name is Christopher May. Uh, I left the Army as a conscientious objector. Um, we were told that these medals represented, uh, you know, democracy and justice and uh, hope and change for the world. These medals represent failure on behalf of the leaders of NATO to accurately represent the will of their own people. It represents a failure on the leaders of NATO to do what's right by the disenfranchised people of this world. Instead of helping them, they take advantage of them and they're making things worse. I will not be a part of that anymore. These medals don't mean anything to me, and they can have them back. My name is Ash Wilson. I was a sergeant. I was in Iraq in 03, and what I saw there crushed me. I don't want us to suffer this again, and I don't want our children to suffer this again. So I'm giving these back. My name is Maggie Martin. I was a sergeant in the Army. I did two tours in Iraq. 
no amount of medals, ribbons, or flags can cover the amount of human suffering caused by these wars. We don't want this garbage. We want our human rights. We want our right to heal. I'm Jacob Crawford. I went to Iraq and Afghanistan. And when they gave me these medals, I knew they were meaningless. I only regret not starting to speak up about how silly the war is sooner. I'm giving these back. Free Bradley Manning. My name is Stephen Lund. I'm a two-time Iraq combat veteran. This medal I'm dedicating to the children of Iraq that no longer have fathers and mothers. So I desert it. I'm one of 40,000 people that left the United States Armed Forces because this is a lie. My name is Steve Ashton. I'm from Campbell's Fort, Wisconsin. I was a Ford observer in the United States Army for just under five years. I deployed to Sadr City, Iraq in 2005. And I'm giving back my medals for the children of Iraq and Afghanistan. May they be, they be able to forgive us for what we've done to them. May we begin to heal, and may we, may we live in peace from here until eternity. Hello, my name is Michael Thurman. I was a conscientious objector from the United States Air Force. I'm returning my Global War on Terrorism medal and my military coins on behalf of Private First Class Bradley Manning. Who sacrificed everything to show us the truth about these wars. My name is Matt Howard. I served in the United States Marine Corps from 2001 to 2006 and in Iraq twice. I'm turning in my campaign service, Iraq campaign service medal and Global War on Terror service and expeditionary medals. For all my brothers and sisters affected with traumatic brain injury, military sexual trauma, and post-traumatic stress disorder. My name is Zach Laporte, and I'm an Iraq War veteran from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you. Um, I'm giving back my medals today because I feel like I was duped into uh, a, a, an illegal war that was, that was sold to me on the guys that I was going to be liberating the Iraqi people, when instead of liberating the people, I was liberating their oil fields. My name is Scott Olson. I have with me today, today I have with me my Global War on Terror Medal, Operation Iraqi Freedom Medal, National Defense Medal, and Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal. These medals, once upon a time, made me feel good about what I was doing. They made me feel like I was doing the right thing. And I came back to reality. And I don't want these anymore. My name's Nate. I served in the U.S. Navy from 99 to 2003 and participated in the invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan. I was wrong to uh, sign myself up for that. I apologize to the Iraqi and Afghani people for destroying your countries. Trump wanted. I'm here on behalf of six foot Americans who really wanted to be here, but they couldn't be. They couldn't be because when they came to the U.S. border, they'd be immediately arrested. And the crime they'd be arrested for was refusing to continue to participate in the crimes against the people of Iraq and Afghanistan. And these good Americans who are exiled now from this country, who, de who deserve amnesty, are a private Christian car of the U.S. Marine Corps. Private Kim Rivera, Army Combat Action Band, refused redeployment to Iraq. Corporal Jeremy Brockway, U.S. Marine Corps, Combat Action Band, refused redeployment to Iraq. Specialist Jules Tim Duncan, Combat Infantry Miss Band, Paratrooper, refused redeployment to Afghanistan. Sergeant Corey Glass, Army, refused redeployment to Iraq. And Sergeant Chris Vesey, paratrooper, CIB, refused redeployment to Afghanistan. I have their awards in my pocket, and I'm throwing a fat man as hell. My name is Aaron Hughes. I served in the Illinois Army National Guard from 2000 to 2006. This medal right here is for Anthony Wagner. He died last year.
medal right here is for the one-third of the women in the military that are sexually assaulted by their peers. We talk about standing up for our sisters. We talk about standing up for our sisters in Afghanistan, and we can't even take care of our sisters here. And this medal right here is because I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all of you. I'm sorry. Nowhere else will you hear from so many who fought these wars about their journey from fighting a war to de demanding peace. Some of us killed innocents. Some of us helped in continuing these wars from home. Some of us watched our friends die. Some of us are, are not here because we took our own lives. We did not get the care promised to us by our government. All of us watched failed policies turn into bloodshed. Listen to us, hear us, and think. Was any of this worth it? Do these medals thank us for a job well done? Do they mask lies, corruption, and abuse of young men and women who swore to defend their country? We tear off this mask.